Well, certainly the leadership in the you know, 21st century, I think there are two great issues that we don't really talk about much when it comes to business and government. One is leadership, the other one is sustainability. We talk about other things, but not that. And I think it's the leader's job in an organisation to think about the future. Do they? No, they're busy people. They're trying to get their numbers right. They're trying to solve the management problems and so on. And they don't really take the time out, I don't think, to, uh, to think really about what might lie ahead 5, 10, 15 years uh, from now. I talk about what I call the relevant future. I don't turn up on stage with a funny hat on and talk about Star Trek in the 23rd century. It's fun. I'm a great Trekkie. But um, it's not really of any use to someone who's trying to manage a business and, and, and motivate their, their teams and so on. So I talk about the next 5, 10, possibly 15 years, what I call the relevant future. But, you know, what I've discovered over the years is that um, senior management, people of all descriptions make either one of two mistakes uh, when it comes to thinking about the future. One is they think the future is something that happens to other people. And therefore that's OK, you know, another half hour on the duvet, you don't have to worry. And the other mistake is they think that the future is something that happens in, oh, I don't know, July of 2021. So again, you know, forget it for the moment, down the pub, everything will be OK. We're in the future. It's carrying us along, this great tidal waves of change and technology around it. You only have to look around, really. So my start point when I'm talking about the future is actually have a really serious um, reality check on what today's all about.